Hi everyone. Take two of the granola making. My phone decided to shut itself down. So, in a pan I've got melting away all uh, brown sugar, honey, and that's good and melted enough right there. Brown sugar, honey, and uh, coconut oil. I just kind of mixed it up. I didn't care. I toasted some of the quick oats and I put a little package of granola oh, graham cracker crumbs, crackers that I crumbled up. Here, this in here is cinnamon. I'm gonna throw that in there. Today we're reviewing my KitchenAid food chopper that my husband got me, mini food processor. This is nutmeg, fresh nutmeg. And a little goes a long way. Nutmeg is very healthy for you. So is your cinnamon. Everything we're putting in here is really healthy. It smells wonderful. A little jar it will last you a long time. All right. So now in here, I'm gonna mix this up. Again, we're making peanut butter, cashew, granola bars. I might even throw some chocolate chips in there. Oh, I'm not gonna throw chocolate chips. I'm gonna put granolas in there. Oh, not granola. Why am I keep talking granola? Oh, drive myself nuts. Um, toffee, English toffee I got. Okay, so let's see how this goes. Oops. I forgot, when that's melted, you add your peanut butter and your vanilla. Got to do that. So, probably about a teaspoon of vanilla, pure vanilla I'm using. And peanut butter, probably about maybe a half a cup. I take out all this in here. We're just going to stir that around in there. And I'm going to use my handy dandy Tupperware spatula to try to get all this out of there. Because we don't want none of that peanut butter to go to waste, right? And boy, is it cleaning it out nice. I also today made some banana peanut butter apple bread. Really good. See how good that cleaned that out? All right. All right. I'm gonna run that, some hot water on that real quick. Sorry about the noise. Let's get some of that peanut butter off the handle. All right. My, I, like I said in the first video that got cut off, I used to make uh, granola bars years ago when my kids were little and I did daycare. I used to make them all the time. I haven't done it in quite a few years, so I had to watch videos and watch what they did and all that fun stuff. Okay, so now I'm going to stir in the peanut butter in with the melted brown sugar, the coconut oil. And I'm using raw honey that I cooked in there. I'm just going to mix that up really good. It already smells wonderful. Mix it till it blends really good. All right. I hope I got enough oats. All right. Now, I am going to add a little bit of sweetened coconut in there. Just a couple handfuls. Yeah, like that should be good. My husband's not a big fan of coconut. I am, he's not. All right, so the KitchenAid little process, chopper, processor. Let's see how good she works. Lid goes on, chop. Well, looky there. I think it did a good job. Chop uh, 
cashews that I baked in the oven for a few minutes. The only bad thing I cared about this thing was this lid part comes apart and I had a heck of a time trying to get it back on. It was horrible. Okay, I'm going to mix this dry ingredients really good together. Then I'm going to pour, oh, it said a little bit of salt too. Can't forget your salt. Why? I don't know. I'm just going to put that a little bit in there. Probably helps preserve it, you think? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Oh, oh. My barbecue ribs are done. Shut that off. Oops. Bake. I'll just set the timer off. All right. Now get my spatula. I'm going to set this here for a minute. I'm going to pour that wet mixture in with the dry. I might have to add a little bit more oats. Cause that was only two cups. I don't know. I probably should measure, huh? <laughs> probably, Angie. So this is what it's getting so far. And then they say you stir it, and it until everything's covered. Should have used my glass bowl, huh? You guys can see everything. I know people that use their hands to mix that. I guess your hands are your best tools, right? They said keep mixing it and blending it until it's blended well. So. Oh, sorry, I almost sneezed. I was like, oh, no, don't sneeze. All right. So this is my Vatsa bowl. Tupperware. It's a nice bowl. We got some blue ones out right now. Today is March 23rd, 2017. So they're not going to be out much longer until Friday. All right, looks good and blended to me. What do you guys think? All right, run my hands off. So, I got my Tupperware snack bar maker. And these are the uh, snack bar holders. So, I don't know if you've got to spray it. I don't think you do. This is my first time making it. So, let's see. Well, first, let's try it. Because it is going to, um, always try your food before you expect somebody else to eat it, you know. Oh, hey. Oh, that's pretty good. I think my husband will like it. All right. So, I don't know if you can see. That's how far down it is. So, I'm just going to put enough in here. In each little splot, slot, not splot. <laughs> it's late, people. It's late. You're my second demo. I'm not griping. I love making them. Oh, it does taste good, guys. You know, I pay almost four dollars. Well, it depends on if I can get them on sale. Three to four dollars for the one bars I get. And then, uh, gosh, I can't even think of their names. My kids was here. She'd know in a heartbeat. It's a big one. It's, uh, there's all different kinds of flavors in them. But anyways, I always go to the health food pantry to get it. So when Tupperware came out with this, I'm like, ooh, I got to get me one. Because I spend way too much money on granola bars. And I take them when I leave. Like if we go to the casino or something, I try to throw one in my purse. Or if we go, like I go to the doctors or something, or if I'm taking someone to the doctors, 
and I know I'm going to be gone. I try to make a little slouch, uh, you know, a little snack bar. Okay. So I got them pushed in, right? This, you push it down. Let me go over here. Can you see me what I'm doing? Okay, push them down. Face you guys. Push it down in there. Push that in there. This is so cool. Now, yum. Look how pretty packed that is. Looks good to me. Normally, you would let that cool in the fridge with its handy dandy little lid on and let it set. That's for four of them. Now, what am I going to do when I got all that left over? I can't eat it all. Although it's good, I'm not going to eat it all. All right. Let's see if I can pop them out and put them in here without ruining them. These are nice little containers. They are watertight, airtight I should say. Alright. What can I put them on? Let's see if I can do this. Here. Let's check it out and see if it'll work. We're both doing this together, guys. I'm going to put this lid right over here. Put the pan on there. Nope, I'm going to have to let it cool. Well, I'm going to have to get me another bar maker. Because I think two of these would be perfect with the amount I got left. Technically, I'm going to get three or four. Probably. I probably will do that. But my other ones here, I'm just going to put over here and on my little container here. I'm going to stick that in the refrigerator. I can definitely get me some more of these so that I have them on hand next time. Oh, shoot. You know what I forgot? I can't forget that. The toffee. I got busy jip and I forgot to put toffee on the top. This is crumbled toffee. Just put a little bit, not a lot. It's got to have a little flavor, you know. And then I'll use that topper thing and push it down. This packer. Push that caramel topping down. Into the holes. And into the mixture. And voila. That prettier? Cool. I'm excited. So that is my review on the KitchenAid food processor, our Tupperware snack bar maker. I love it. The little holders, I'm sure I'm going to love because, you know, taking them out where I got to go. Um, I got to get a couple more of these. I think one is not enough. enough. Uh, unless you make small batches, which I probably should have, but I'm going to grab probably two more. That way there I have plenty. There's four in a bag. Usually I think one batch makes what, 10? So yeah, I'll grab two more. So give thumbs up on this. All right, everybody have a great day. Take care. Well, I might as well bring you back real quick to show you what I did. I got me my small pan. I threw all the rest of that mixture on there. I'm going to push it down, make sure I get it into the corners good. I'd bring it over closer, but I don't got nothing to lean you on. I'm going to use my little tapper. This video is not good. Let me bring you over here and see if that helps. How's that? Better? Well, then we got the light in the way. Barely see me. All right. So let's flatten this out. We're all working together on this together. You know why I'm flattening? I'm just going to pour some of this topping on there. 
No sense in doing twice the work, right? Just a little bit. Then I will wrap this up in a baggie or in a foil. Probably plastic wrap, I'm sorry. And then uh, put it in the fridge and I will cut my bars with that. Just flatten them out good. And then I think they said it only takes like what, a half hour to them chill. Mine are going to sit in there overnight. <laughs> oh, I might take them out by 